As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from a research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. We could do this one, guys, but I don't know if anyone has different thoughts on this, but this was another piece of news this week, like Fortnite and Balenciaga. Who here thinks that was the right tie-up? Is this, uh, digital, mean, this is digital, digital uh, goods, not physical? It's no, you can buy the hoodie in real life for seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna need yeah, an advance on my paycheck. I'm gonna need an advance on my paycheck. I love this hoodie. I think it's so cool. <laughs> I'm logging in. I'm gonna drop twenty dollars on the skin, even though I haven't played Fortnite back in two up, years. <laughs> Jeff, Someone's gonna what, what, that, it just, that, it's a white, which it's a hoodie white is, hoodie. Is, is it a, a, this one, um, actually, they have a whole, one? no, no, they have a whole product line. If you scroll through, they this have a shirt, white shirt. Seven hundred twenty-five dollars. No, this shirt is four hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Jeff is Jeff. blowing his lid. <laughs> this shirt is nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Ooh, it's a button-down though. This shirt should it's... be fifteen dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, Jeff, you order your clothes from Amazon. This isn't for you. <laughs> yeah, it's called functional. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's we gotta, ridiculous. we gotta, we gotta get you in on the fashion world, man. It gets crazier than this. Yeah, sorry, I I'm gonna lose my crazier. ability to talk on any. Of I've lost my credibility to talk on anything fashion. I, related, look, I guess. I'm, I'm the biggest, you know, lover of designer brands, but I don't get this because I don't so, see man. the the intersection in the Venn diagram, right? Like, to me, the Lamborghini, Ferrari, that stuff makes sense because you go that eight year old or nine year old or twelve year old dreams of buying a ferrari one day right i sort of get that but what's the play with a balenciaga uh, but they, that, the, that 12 year old's not buying a a thousand dollar shirt they're well, if they're not buying a thousand dollar shirt they're definitely not buying a two hundred thousand dollar car maybe people who buy that ferrari, shirt are idiots maybe, maybe one day sooner the 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 shirt <laughs> Jeff's comments and feelings because the people who buy this shirt no one <laughs> Literally is going to know that that shirt cost that amount. So and now who buys that is, is an idiot. A lot of people are going to know that that shirt cost that amount. This is such a great idea. You guys are just totally missing the boat. This is probably going to be Fortnite's <laughs> best collab ever. It's probably going to be Balenciaga's most profitable quarter in the yeah, last five gonna years. It's going to sell out instantly. Right. It's going to sell out right. instantly. Yeah. It's gonna be it will be the first digital successful. good ever to have its supply exhausted. <laughs> the, 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 look, I meant I, the, the physical. I but, could maybe I buy the argument that Balenciaga is trying to build a younger following who may end up being consumers. I, I sort of buy that, but then I don't think you need the physical good, right? You could yeah. do the skin in the game and then you you get sort of that brand mind share, but why the thousand dollar shirt? So, so this is them reading my mind when Louis Vuitton and Burberry came out with those mobile NFT games. Remember when I said, I want to play this Louis Vuitton game with the backpack that my character's wearing that I also have in real life, right? Okay. Or wearing the yeah. sweater. This is what they're doing. They're letting you, this is like bridging really the kind of like, this is like the start of the metaverse. This is stuff that I have in real life that I'm going to get in a game. Maybe I'd rather have it in the game, but I can, I, it's just, it's so cool I, to me that I can have the same hoodie that my character is wearing and wear it while I'm playing or just wear it out, you know, and be like, I support this. I'm a fan of this. I also think that we're too hyper focused on the 14 year old plays Fortnite, not enough on the 23 year old that also plays Fortnite, or even the 27 year old that plays Fortnite, because there's a lot of them. I, Sorry, Lindsay, will I, I bet off. you that there's going to be so many NBA players <laughs> and people true. in the music industry and all of this who are going to buy this, and everyone who can afford it is going to want to buy it too, just because of that. Balenciaga is like, one of the top, top brands. I mean, Kim Kardashian is like exclusively wearing Balenciaga these days. It's yeah, having a massive Gala. cultural moment, especially with the young millennial crowd. I, I just, this is great. And I think making a physical product is a huge win because I think it's going to sell out instantly. Yeah. 
Okay, but yeah. don't you, on that line of thinking, Lindsay, doesn't it sort of like the NBA player who's maybe 30 who buys the hoodie, right? Because they can afford it, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you think they're wearing Fortnite ex Balenciaga sort of as a meme? Like it's a little yeah. bit meme-ish. Well, it's, it's a little it's bit. It's part of the irrelevant. culture. But, but, I mean, but here's why the did thing. Kim, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Go, go I just, why did Kim Kardashian show up to the Met Gala wearing a face mask? Like <laughs> this is all part of like a cultural thing. Like it's it's yeah. an online presence. It's it's much more than just like, oh, should this we, is comfortable We're just and dancing around it, guys. Should we just do the Met Gala? Like, should we just cover that? Like, it seems like that's what our podcast. Should we just, yeah. should we just embrace it? Like, I just, All right. I just want to say one more thing to this before we move off. And as someone with a lot of cousins and nephews, these kids will save up years of allowance and, and hard work, hustling, side hustling, doing whatever they do, mowing lawns to buy the one Supreme or Louis Vuitton or Bape or mm -hmm. Balenciaga Gucci item that they can afford. I think this is just genius. Not only is it going to sell out, lawns, you're going to see lawns. it on the resale market. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to see it on the resale market for going 2, 3x on what it's worth. This, Paul, we need to take, we need to buy All right, I've been convinced. You guys convinced it. me. I'm getting one. Where do I buy this? <laughs> Jeff, you can wear it to the next one. one short. Here, here's, here's the irony of it all. None of us will be able to buy one. All the all they will all get sold uh, to the people like uh, to the resellers, right? To the, yep, the exactly the, right, and yeah. and it's gonna go. It's gonna be on eBay for two or three times this price. Unfortunately, yeah. um, Jeffrey says I think that tie up is an outlier, not the core of the volume uh, for uh, Balenciaga. You mean or or uh, Jeffrey, are you still referring to the uh, 100 Thieves one? I'm just curious. Taylor laughing at the Balenciaga Fortnite. <laughs> uh, I do like the argument that it makes their brand more uh, relevant. This is true. Uh, Jack says, in-game product placement and fashion, huge revenue drivers for modern game publishing platforms. No question. It's just, we. I don't think we can give them every tie-up a pass automatically, right? Like, fashion in a game, great, let's go. Like, we can't just, I think, blatantly just say they all make sense and they all work. Um, Ramsey says we really missed you, Lindsay. The IRL connection. Uh, <laughs> Only Lindsay can like translate half of this stuff for us. <laughs> you're me and Jimmy, me and Jimmy uh, got the. You're increasingly the Rosetta Stone of this podcast. I love the depth of Lindsay. She could talk about you know Balenciaga high fashion to hey sushi and a land center and a gas station. At a gas station. You know? <laughs> the girl's she really not ties range, it. guys. Yeah, she ties the whole thing together. The, 